I have a plan. Stop him. This kid is patient, he has extreme punching power, and he has speed and time and out. He is dynamic. You know, this kid is the champion, the current reigning and defending undefeated WC. People realize, like, holy! Against three defeats from Watford, London, England, the WBO, pardon me, former WBO, IBF, IBO, WBA heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony. Joshua! Here comes the former two-time unified world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua, truly one of boxing's megastars. Indeed. He's looked mean all week, I think, AJ. I had the foggiest idea what Francis and Joshua were fighting about. And I'll tell you, like when it when I when I discovered that Francis is a legitimate threat, it appeared that okay, you got the Fury rematch, which isn't gonna be right away, but it exists. You got Wilder because he's a free agent. And so now the PFL themselves could actually bring him in and do that. And then you've got Joshua, where Eddie Hearn displayed an interest in putting Joshua in there. Of those fights, I wanted Joshua and I wanted it strongly. I, I would have predicted it was Wilder, but I strongly wanted Joshua. I've gotten my way. And now that I've gotten my way, I want to be helpful. I want you to watch the fight, but I don't know why they're fighting. Now, you can fix that. And it's it's not something I've already given where we go make up a belt or we sit the WBO or WBC or president there and and we have the crowd play a game of uh, yeah, which, which one is he with? There's the president, is he with the WBO or the WBC? Like that'd be a fun game and really hard. No one knows, but that's not where you go with this. You just, prior to the fight, need to say what the winner gets. And equally, and what no promoter wants to do, because they're not understanding, is what the loser doesn't get. There, there has to be consequence. And that, that's always missed. Some, something has to happen. Fight fans, welcome back to Luxurytainment. In this video, we will take a closer look at the upcoming clash between Anthony Joshua vs. Francis Ngannou. Get your popcorn and straddle up for this exciting in-depth analysis. Joshua will take on former UFC heavyweight champ in Saudi Arabia on March 8th in what will be just the Cameroonians' second professional boxing fight. Ngannou dropped Tyson Fury in the third round of their clash last October before losing a narrow split decision. Joshua, meanwhile, stopped Otto Wallin two days before Christmas to record his third victory of 2023. He knows victory will set him up for a potential shot at the winner of Fury's undisputed clash with Oleksandr Usyk, which will now take place in May due to Tyson Fury's cut while sparring. If AJ loses to Francis, then Joshua's career is over. Nagano hasn't been boxing long. How can he defeat an Olympic champion who went on to win multiple world titles? AJ's not past his best, he's not on the way out. He looked flat at the start of last year, but he looked a real force against Wallin. So I hope he puts it on Nganu and doesn't put safety first. I hope he comes out hungry to make a statement. I think AJ can knock Nganu out. I think he needs to win and win well. And if he doesn't, we need to stop caring about the heavyweight division. It would be a farce. It would not happen in any other sport. You wouldn't get Conor McGregor getting anywhere near anyone in the top 10 in boxing. Joshua should easily outbox him. Joshua has got it all to lose. A loss for Joshua would be curtains. 
His last defeat was against Oleksandr Usyk, who I think is a phenomenal fighter. Whereas this time around, if he loses to Nganu, a guy in his second fight, that's going to be a disaster. There will be a question mark over his career and legacy, especially because he's not a faded fighter. He's not shot. It's not like Nganu will be catching Joshua as the tail end of his career. AJ put in a really good performance against Wallen, but if he's beaten by Nganu, that's a nightmare. It's a big pressure fight. It would be a bigger shock than Buster Douglas beating Tyson. Douglas wasn't a bad fighter, and Tyson was a ticking time bomb. That was a major, major shock, but Nganu beating AJ would top it surely. Joshua's priority is Nganu for the time being. The Cameroonian French star has only had one career fight so far, which came against Fury back in October. The 37-year-old was able to knock his opponent down in round three, stunning the boxing world in the process. Fury managed to win via split decision, however, to keep his unbeaten boxing record intact. And Eddie Hearn says that if AJ overcomes Nganu, he'll then go up against Filip Hergovic. If AJ is triumphant, he will fight Filip Hergovic for a world title, which is fine, he told Luxurytainment. Then we'll fight the winner of Fury versus Usyk. Joshua isn't the only fighter who could replace Fury or Usyk if needed. Deontay Wilder's stock has fallen after he was easily overcome by Joseph Parker before Christmas, yet the bronze bomber, despite appearing to be a faded force, insists he's prepared to step into the ring if there's the opportunity. Deontay Wilder told Luxurytainment that, I'm ready, I'm always ready for whoever no matter what, he said earlier this week. No matter how much training I've got, whether I'm three weeks in or eight weeks in, it doesn't matter, I'm a fighter. I'm really putting myself up against anyone. I'm still that man, don't get it twisted, we're putting all the stuff back together. I at one point in time lost the love for this business. The success did a lot to me because it really took me out of my element. I used to be a gym rat, instead of just coming to the gym whenever I have fights. All of it's changed, I've rededicated myself back to the, the ring. I'm in the gym now and taking it like a job now. Francis Ngannou almost caused a major shock when he knocked Tyson Fury down in their bout last October. Now the former UFC heavyweight champion, in just his second boxing bout, is set to face Anthony Joshua on March 8th. Last October, when making his pro boxing debut, Nganu nearly caused an upset with an impressive performance against Tyson Fury, connecting a left hook in the third round to leave the WBC heavyweight champion on the canvas in their non-title bout. The close affair has enhanced Nganu's reputation, and Peter Murray, the PFL Professional Fighters League chief executive, believes the 37-year-old, who signed a deal with the PFL last May, is in great shape and will only get better ahead of this upcoming fight in March. Nganu, for all his experience in combat sports, is only having his second pro boxing bout, while Joshua is a seasoned boxer, an Olympic gold medalist, and two-time unified heavyweight champion. But Peter Murray argues that Nganu can beat Joshua. I believe he can, he told our very own Schaubzak. Francis is only going to get better in his second showing, so I think it's on. It'll be really fun event to watch. He's the number one heavyweight MMA champion in the world. He's taken on boxing, his pro boxing career, his first event against one of the best in the world, and now his second event against one of the very best in the world. So, you know that's always been part of Francis's vision in this stage of his career, and we're proud of him. Couldn't be more excited for him. Murray has overseen some big changes within MMA after the PFL announced it had acquired rival MMA promotion Bellator in November. He does have plans for Nganu to come back to MMA as well. Murray expects a return to mixed martial arts in the latter part of this year, with high-profile opponents eager to take Nganu on. We have two champions, you know. We have Renan Ferreira and Ryan Bader, he said. Those heavyweights, both of them would like a crack at Francis, and we'll see who will get that shot, and then there are other potential fights, what I would call crossover fighters into MMA. Nganu nearly pulled off a massive upset back in October, when he made his professional boxing debut in a crossover fight with WBC world champion Tyson Fury. The dangerous puncher Francis would drop Fury in the third round, and fought his way to a razor-close 10-round split decision loss. 
He intends to start a lot faster in the fight with Joshua. Nothing is impossible, right? Francis told Luxurytainment. We don't know the strength of Anthony Joshua, but even though I don't believe he has that strength to beat me. But we're going to find out, Nyanu told Shaobzak. We're going to find out, and I think the reverse is going to happen. I'm going to be the one taking his soul. Nganu believes he was robbed of a victory in the bout with Fury, which is why he wants to do everything possible to avoid a scenario where the official judges will decide the fight. I won the fight with Fury. Look at me now. Look at my life. Look at where I was when you think I lost. You think because some foolish judges make some decision that change anything in my life? My family that I was telling you about, they were sitting in the first row watching that fight, Nganu said. The dream that I was in since I was kid, I was that night, living that dream on top of the world. I was there. And for all the people that have been doubting me, I was there proving them wrong. For everybody that ever looked me down, I was there proving them wrong. I won everything. Joshua, who used to hold the world heavyweight titles before surrendering them to Oleksandr Usyk in 2021, is on a three-fight winning streak, having suffered back-to-back -back defeats to the undefeated Ukrainian star. AJ returned to the win column after beating Jermaine Franklin before stopping Robert Hellenius, and he destroyed Otto Wallin on the Day of Reckoning card in his last outing in a masterful performance as he seemed to roll back the years. The Brit welcomes the ex-MMA star back to the ring, with former UFC legend Richard Evans backing Yanu to become the world heavyweight champion in boxing. I mean, it's hard for me to put anything past Francis, man. That performance and now he's going to be fighting Anthony Joshua, he told Luxurytainment. I mean, I think he's going to do it. I made a prediction and I said, I think that Francis Nganu is going to be a heavyweight boxing champ by the end of the year. Even though the former UFC king didn't beat Fury, he shocked the boxing world with his showing against arguably the best fighter in the division and garnered huge praise. Now let's look at how Anthony Joshua wins this fight. Boxing Experience Anthony Joshua is a seasoned professional boxer with a successful career in the heavyweight division. His experience and technical skills in boxing could provide him with an advantage over Nyanu. Knowledge of Tyson Fury's strategies Joshua might study Fury's approach and their fight to develop a game plan against Nganu. Understanding how Fury handled Nganu could be beneficial. Endurance and boxing stamina boxing matches typically have longer rounds than MMA fights. And Joshua's conditioning and endurance developed through boxing training may give him an advantage in a boxing-specific context. Now let's look at what Anthony Joshua should watch out for. Nganu's power. Francis Ngannou is known for his exceptional punching power, and if he had success against Fury, Joshua would need to be cautious and have a solid defensive strategy to avoid Ngannou's devastating strikes. We are leaning towards Anthony Joshua winning this fight, so fight fans who do you have winning? Please like, share and comment and have a great day.
Unified World Champion, the current reigning and defending, undefeated, WBC Lineal Heavyweight Champion of the World.